Yeah. Which, may I just confess that I learned in my first meeting with Devon, all these years I thought the Sabbath was Sunday. Yeah. I've been going to church. We say worship on the Sabbath, worship on the Sabbath in the Baptist church. And you corrected me. You said, no, Sunday is the first day of the week. Yeah. Sabbath is Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. That's right. That's I right. stand corrected. <laughs> so what path or religion are you mm-hmm. in your pursuit of perfection with God? <laughs> what, 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 what are um, you? I was raised Seventh-day Adventist. Okay, and what um, does that mean? Seventh-day Adventist is a Christian denomination, mm-hmm. and one of the things that we believe is observing the Sabbath. Mm-hmm. Uh, so from a young child, you know, being brought up, I was always brought up with Sabbath observance. So Friday night sundown, Saturday night sundown, as mentioned in the Ten Commandments, I remember the seventh day to keep it holy. Uh, and then also Jesus uh, observed Sabbath as well. Yeah. So it's one day where I don't check my emails, I don't respond to work calls, I don't read From Friday night. Friday night Sunday. Sundown. To Saturday, Saturday night Sunday. Yeah. No work. You don't check your emails? No. That's, like, turn, a, a that's, a, that's like against the commandment of Hollywood, that thou shalt carry thy Blackberry at all times. But you know what? Here's a good yes. thing. When you set boundaries. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Up front. Up front. Here's what my commitment is. So we all agree. I Before love this, Before we even Devon. take the job or go yeah. down the road. Yeah. Here's a commitment. Yeah. Are we all agreeing this is okay? Mm-hmm. So then all I have to do is just make sure I keep the commitment. Yeah. Because the moment I break it yes. is the moment they realize, oh, well, he wasn't that serious. Mm-hmm. But for me, Sabbath is a time to recharge. It's a time to rest. It's a time to spend time with my family. Uh, it's a time to spiritually reconnect. Yeah. Um, it's incredible. What is interesting is that you allow your faith, yeah. your belief in God, to be at the forefront of who you are in a place where most of us, and you even say in the book, I remember when I said to my father, uh, I was like 13, 14, that I'm going to be an actress. No daughter of mine is going to be going out to Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh, boy. Sodom and Gomorrah. You know the line. Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, right. So you're living in what a lot of certainly traditional Christian people see Hollywood as the Mm. land of everything but following the path of, of your faith. How, how, how do you make it out there? <laughs> well, you make it by being true to yourself. Mm-hmm. And like literally for your, for your first job, I mean, I'm sorry yeah, to interrupt. Okay. For your first job, uh, working as an intern with yes. Will Smith, yes. you say to them, yeah. look, I have to have the Sabbath yes. off, yes. which may I just confess that I learned in my first meeting with Devon, all these years I thought the Sabbath was Sunday. Yeah. I've been going to church. We say worship on the Sabbath, worship on the Sabbath in the Baptist church. And you corrected me. You said, no, Sunday is the first day of the week. Yeah. Sabbath is Friday sundown to Saturday Sunday. That's right. That's I right. stand corrected. <laughs> Amen. So you go to your first job yeah. with Will Smith yes. and say, look, I'm really excited to be here, but well, I have to have Friday. Friday night sundown, Saturday night sundown off. And what happened was, it wasn't... Weren't you scared to say that? Yeah, I was scared. It didn't, it wasn't intentional. Like you, it wasn't intentional. It wasn't intentional, but I'm there in the interview. Yes. And God starts to, literally, it feels like he's speaking to me, you know, because she, everything goes great. I feel like, okay, yeah, I got this in the bag. You know how you just go in and you, every you yeah, land, hey, it's that. all good. But at the end of the interview, it was like God was saying, tell her about the Sabbath. And I'm like... No, I'll tell her after I get the internship. <laughs> after I get the <laughs> after job, I get what I want. I'll tell them. Right. Yeah. But he said, no, be obedient. And so I said, man, all right. Well, here's the thing. I can't take this internship if I have to work Friday night sundown or Saturday night sundown because I observe the Sabbath. And she was quiet. And then after a moment, she said, don't worry. Work around that. And I said, hallelujah. And what it did was wow. it gave me confidence that if I embrace who I am, wow. it will open doors, not shut them. Also, that's really big. Hold that a moment. Pause. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> okay, good. Go ahead. <laughs> but also, speaking about doors, right? Yeah. If your faith won't fit in the door that opens, yeah. then I argue, do not walk through that door. The door that God Whoa, has opened boy, for you moment. will fit your faith. Wondering why on Sundays Georgia would not participate in an electoral process of gathering signatures, stuff, registration, and things on Sunday. And I would just like to respond to that. Georgia is a southern state just like Mississippi. I cannot speak for Georgia, but I can speak for Mississippi on why we would never do that on a Sunday or hold an election on a Sunday. You know, this is our currency. This is a dollar bill. This says the United States of America in God we trust. Etched in stone 
in the U.S. Senate chamber is in God we trust. When you swore in all of these witnesses, the last thing you said to them in your instructions was, so help you God. In God's word in Exodus 20, 18, it says, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Well, it's very interesting. And I'll admit, I feel a little conflicted as I watch this. On one hand, uh, you know, my heart thrills and I admire the chutzpah of Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith as she's talking about in God we trust. And uh, I think she's correct that our government was founded with the understanding that we are a moral people with both a Judeo-Christian background. But Roger Williams understood there needed to be a distinction that uh, is in very important for the government to support, endorse, and even help enforce the last six commandments. You can't steal, you can't kill, you know, the constant litigation and covetousness, respecting parental rights, honor your father and mother, the uh, sanctity of marriage in the seventh commandment. Governments should support those things. No government should be legislating who God is, when to worship him, how to worship him, what his name is, namely the first four commandments. And so I think it's interesting that they're arguing about the Sabbath day. And I also think it's interesting that he or she, a Christian, is lecturing Senator Schumer, who is a Jew, about the Sabbath. And neither of them speak up and say, well, actually, it is the seventh day of the week, Saturday. It's not Sunday. They're arguing about voting rights. And I'm not even going to get into whether or not people should be voting on the Sabbath day. I just think it's interesting that uh, in the last days, we know that there's going to be ongoing discussion in the halls of government about what the true Sabbath is, and ultimately there are going to be laws about this. And nobody's even raising a peep about, well, they had the wrong day. Nowhere in the Bible does it ever call the first day of the week the Sabbath. It always calls the seventh day of the week the Sabbath, a day Senator Schumer knows is Saturday. And so a lot of people are confused about this, and I just wanted to put something out there so people are aware, they, they keep their antenna up, we ought to be watching what's going on because it often starts with small things like this and that can snowball into bigger discussions. We've had a very difficult year. More and more people are talking about God now freely in the government because of all the troubles in the pandemic, people are thinking more spiritually. And here at Amazing Facts, we've seen more spiritual interest than we've seen in the whole history of the ministry. But we know that one day that interest is going to turn uh, the pendulum is going to swing a little too far in one direction and folks are going to start making religious laws out of fear. And so I think we just need to be aware of what these issues are. Yes, God does want us to keep the Sabbath. No, the government should not be telling us how to worship God. If you're going to be keeping the Sabbath day, keep it the right day. It's not Sunday, the first day of the week. It's Saturday, the seventh day of the week. If you'd like more information on this, we've got a free book that we'll share with you. And it's called, Is Sunday Really Sacred? And you want to download this, share it with your friend, and stay in prayer as we are in the last days.